Now let's take a look at the official guide 2016 DS number 11. And we can modify the original question and the condition using variable approach method. The question is asking what is cube root of w. So we can write it as w to the power of 1 over 3. So there's only one variable, which is w. We only have to find the value of w. And in order to match the number of variables and the number of equation, we need one equation. And the condition 1 provides one equation, and the condition 2 provides another equation. So there's high chance that d is our correct answer choice. So looking at the condition 1, we have fifth root of w equals 64. So we can write it as w to the power of 1 over 5 equals 64, which is 2 to the power of 6. So w becomes 2 to the power of 6 to the power of 5. And this is 2 to the power of 30. So w to the power of 1 to the 1 over 3 becomes 2 to the power of 30 to the power of 1 over 3. So this is 2 to the power of 30 times 1 over 3. And this becomes 2 to the power of 10. The answer is unique and the condition is sufficient. Looking at the condition 2, we also have 15th root of w equals 4. So, w to the power of 1 over 15 equals 4, which is 2 squared. Then, w becomes 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 15. And this is 2 to the power of 30. And as you can see from the condition 1, w to the power of 1 over 3 equals 2 to the power of 30 to the power of 1 over 3. So this becomes 2 to the power of 30 times 1 over 3, which is 2 to the power of 10. The answer is unique and the condition is sufficient. And the correct answer choice is D.